For the most part, the way you'll control what information your users can see in the web console is going to be by controlling which views they have access to, and most of that view management is done by assigning menu bars. A menu bar is a collection of links to specific views that are assigned to an application tab for a particular user account. Let me build a new menu bar and I'll show you what I mean. Go to Settings, All Settings, and scroll down to Customize Navigation and Look, and Customize Menu Bars. So let's take a look at this admin menu bar. If you'll notice, the links on this menu bar look an awful lot like the links on my Home tab up above. That's because the admin menu bar has been assigned to the Home tab for the admin user account. Now we'll talk about actually assigning the menu bar to a user account in the video titled Account Permissions and Limitations. For now, I'm just going to set up the menu bar so it will be ready when I create a new user account. To build a menu bar, scroll to the very bottom of the screen and click New Menu Bar. Remember, your menu bar is the set of views you want to share with a particular user or user group, so you're probably going to want to name the menu bar based on the users it will be assigned to, not based on the application tab where it will be assigned. So I'll call my new menu bar something like Junior Admin. Now, if the users need more than one menu bar, either because there are too many views to fit comfortably on one or if they use multiple Orion modules, then I'd probably identify the user group first and then the application tab. So in this case, I'd probably name this menu bar Junior Admin Home. Identifying the user group the menu bar is for is more important than identifying the application tab the menu bar will be assigned to. All right, naming done. Now, below, I have a list of all the Orion views that I can add to the menu bar, and you can see there are quite a lot. I'm going to scroll down and find one of the views I created for my junior admin, which I called Demo View. Then I'll drag the view over to the right in the Selected Items column and drop it off. And now, just grab a few other views and add them to the menu bar as well. If you want to remove a view, you just drag it back to Available Items again. The top to bottom order of the selected views here will be the left to right order of links on the application tab. If I need to reorder the views, I can do that with drag and drop too. When you've got your menu bar name and the links you want in the order you want them, click Submit. Now you can see your menu bar. You can test the links on the bar to make sure you assign the right views. You can also edit the menu bar or delete it if you need to. So now your menu bar is ready for when you set up the user's account. And that should be the typical order of operation. Build the view first, build a menu bar and add a link to the view, then build a user account and assign the menu bar to an application tab for the user.